Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the three-phase rectifier, three-phase bridge rectifier. So, so in the LT spice, I will run the simulation and I will show you these kind of waveforms. Uh, I will show you the the voltage between a and b that means l1 and l2 the voltage between l2 and l3 that is b and c the voltage between a and c and how you can generate three phase power source and what is the phase a phase shift of our phase angle between a and b and b and c and a and c okay then i will show you the pulsating dc waveform here you can see and then later i will show you the raw dc waveform you can see so this is this is going to be very interesting video today if you spend some time i am sure that you will learn you will end up learning something so please watch this video till end and i'm pretty sure you will understand the concept of three phase rectifier bridge rectifier so for the moment i will delete this waveform window and i will focus on the 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 circuit here okay so right now i'm zooming it out so that you can you can see is very clearly right so you can see here uh, this is three phase supply that is l1 l2 and l3 right if you right click on l1 you can see the amplitude is 230 volt and frequency is 50 hertz and right and you can see here the phase angle is zero degree right and if you right click on l2 you can see here the amplitude is 230 frequency 50 hertz and the phase angle between l1 and l2 is 120 degree okay and if you right click on on l3 you can see amplitude is same frequency is same and the phase phase angle between l1 and l3 is given by 240 so you can see here the phase phase difference between l1 and l2 is 120 the phase difference between l2 and l3 is 120 while the phase difference between l1 and l3 is 240 that is how you can generate three phase power source in lt spice i have already uploaded one video how to generate three phase power source in lt spice if you haven't watched please go and watch that video right so so moving moving ahead you can see i have labeled the net name here l1 is called a l2 is called b and l3 is called 3 then i have connected the bridge rectifier here okay i have connected the diode d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 to to configure uh, it as a bridge rectifier and moving ahead i have i have given this point to pulsating dc and then i have connected some load here that is r2 the value for r2 is 47k if you ask me why do we need to connect the value of r2 here so the reason behind is i want to show you the pulsating dc voltage here at and at the same time i want to show you the the raw dc voltage so for the reason i have connected one one resistor r2 and one diode d6 in the in the actual application you may remove this two okay r2 and r d6 so while designing any three phase circuit please Consider this circuit as a reference as this this circuit is not tested practically it is made for it is this video is made only for the educational purpose right so these two uh, these two r2 and d6 i have connected to show you the the pulsating with dc voltage and the raw dc voltage and you can see here the value of c1 is 150 micro microfarad and the value of r1 is 10k okay 
so this is this is our very simple circuit of three phase bridge rectifier in lt spice okay now i will run the simulation and i will show you the results so go ahead simulate button edit simulation command and i am running at the moment this transient analysis and the stop time is 100 milliseconds click it on ok and just go at this run button okay so this is run button and i will divide this into three part right in the first part i will show you i will show you the voltage between a and b okay so this point is a and this is b i want to show the voltage between b and c and this is b and this is c i want to show the voltage between a and c this is the voltage between a and c that means the voltage between l1 and l2 the voltage between two phase that is l1 and l2 the voltage between l2 and l3 and the voltage between l1 and l3 okay so these are the voltages now in this window i want to show you the pulsating dc voltage so this is the pulsating dc voltage and in the final window i want to show you the raw dc voltage okay let me zoom it out so now you can you can enjoy your result okay so the voltage between a and b that means l1 and l2 any two phase is is around 400 volt okay so it is same for b and c and it is also same for v a a and c so what does it mean it means that the voltage between any two phase is 400 voltage so how this 400 voltage comes so let me explain you so let me explain you so your 230 voltage you have 230 voltage input that is multiplied by 1.73 and you can get around 390 398 397.9 so you can see the voltage between any two phase for three in, in a three phase system if your supply voltage is 230 volt you can see the voltage between any two phases around 400 volt so that is how you can see your 400 uh, voltage between any two phases 400 volt now let me show you the pulsating dc voltage you can see my pulsating dc voltage varies from this is the lower point and it is around 345 and this is the upper point and it is around 397 so the pulsating voltage dc voltage varies from 345 to 397 it since this is the three phase system it never comes to the zero okay since this is the three phase system i am repeating again since this is the three phase system it won't come to zero okay now let me now you can see this is the raw dc voltage and which which is which is around 395 395 to 396 that means it has one volt ripple so if you want to increase more volt ripple voltage you can increase the road value and run the simulation again and let me show you you can see here now the ripple voltage is increased to 395 and here is 389 okay okay so so basically these are the voltages between phase any two phase this is the pulsating dc voltage and this is the raw dc voltage and if you want to see the pure raw dc you may increase this resistance value like 1000k that means you are reducing the load current now you can run the simulation and you can see that you have around you have around very stable dc voltage okay so it is very stable dc voltage now let me go back it again okay so so uh, so i hope guys you have understood about three phase system 